hi everyone so today I'm gonna to be showing you what I've ordered from Amazon over the past couple of weeks so let's get started so the first thing I want to show this is not um, craft related but it's something that I always try to order from Amazon um, if you have oily skin like really oily skin and you know you're always trying to find you're trying to find something that'll help mat you out this is probably the best um, right here to use it's made by Etude House and it's called zero sebum now it is a powder um, that is translucent it's white obviously and this is the best translucent powder I've ever used that will completely mat and make my skin stay um, matte throughout the day now I live in the south I'm not talking about Southern California I mean I live in the south in Memphis and so our summers get really hot and humid here so um, I've always had this problem with oily skin here so I've always tried a number of things and you know nothing ever worked until I had come across this now it's pretty cheap on um, Amazon actually I got this in a two-pack for probably about ten dollars maybe I think um, the only thing I noticed because I've been ordering this for a couple years is that they changed the packaging it's actually smaller I need to pull up the old packaging because I think I still have one and compare and see how much um, I'm getting in this if they actually just downsize it and then you're getting less for the same amount that you were paying over the you know the last couple of years so um, I ordered two of these like I said and then I saw this one <laughs> now yes that's Olaf from Frozen I guess it was like some kind of like a limited edition thing and I thought I mean I didn't buy it because of Olaf but I thought that it was different from the uh, this one right here it's also made by a tooth house but when I got it in the mail I found out that it's actually the same thing it's still zero sebum as you can see there so I, I actually have three now but that's okay because you know I use this year long and now I don't have to order for quite a while so I picked those up next thing that I picked up and as I've mentioned before I'm a big Tom Hiddleston fan so I went ahead and ordered the CD CD the DVD version of the night manager now I'm a bad Tom Hiddleston fan because I've actually never watched this I've only seen like maybe a part of the first episode so I figured you know what I'll just go ahead and order the DVD it was a uh, I think it was seven dollars and it's the uncensored edition so hey you know um, maybe on a three-day weekend I'll go ahead and just binge watch this so got that okay so the next thing I got I did feature this in a haul like a TJ Maxx or Marshall's haul and I found these at the store on clearance I forgot how much I paid for it these are the um, postcards they're like the it's a basically New York Botanical Garden there's 100 postcards and they're all different uh, these are roses rose theme okay I had already had my eye on it for quite a while on Amazon so I was really happy to find them in store and cheap because it's like something like $18 on Amazon well since I already got that one I thought I'm not, I don't think I'm gonna be able to find this because I've looked around Memphis at the different TJ Maxx's and Marshall's and they didn't seem to have it so I ordered this this is the botanicals version uh, 100 postcards so you get you know these type of um, illustrations and I just love them because I can you know frame them if I wanted to um, yeah there's just I mean really really high quality you know postcards so I got that and yes I did pay $18 for it <laughs> So the next couple of things I'm going to show are tech related. So let's get to it here. By the way, I cannot remember who sent me this tablet case. Was it Clarissa or was it Kat? I know it's between the two of them. One of them sent this to me years ago and I held on to it because I knew someday I'd, I'd order another tablet. So it comes in really handy and I love the, um, the vintage camera on there. So what I got was this a pen sleeve for the um, Samsung pen so basically it's a silicon sleeve it helps protect the pen the only downside is while it is um, it still allows the pen to be magnetic it's not the, the hold the grip is not as strong as it would be if I didn't have the sleeve on so 
that's why I um, tend to keep it in the tablet case. Um, I mean, I can fit it inside here, but it's a tight squeeze, you know? So um, I tend to keep it on there, but I will go ahead. And when I hold the case, I always hold it up this way because I find that when I do it this way and I put it down, sometimes the pen comes off and then I'm like, oh my God, where did I, where did I leave the pen? <laughs> so it's just easier if I just hold it this way, unless I keep it in the case. So, wow, I guess I'm on the last thing now. No, actually two more things. So another thing that I picked up was this keyboard. It's a Bluetooth multi-device keyboard by uh, Logitech. And I just love the way it looked. I'm not a big fan of pink, but this pink is acceptable because my tablet is bronze, the Mystic Bronze, and I thought it, you know, it matched it pretty well. So um, I did order this and I ordered the case. Um, it's not by Logitech. Um, I ordered this case that's made specifically for this um, keyboard. So I can store the keyboard in there. So here is the keyboard. It's so cute and I love the way that the buttons feel. So that's where you turn it on. And then you just select one of the three Bluetooth, I guess, channels um, that you're gonna use. So I selected one. So when I first got it, it already came with batteries. So it just told me to just hold down one of these keys for like three seconds and then it would connect to the uh, tablet. I've had no problems with it. It's the connection is really good. Um, I love that, you know, I can control the volume. Um, and then it's like if I'm chatting with somebody on like Messenger or I'm typing, uh, you know, I'm sending an email, instead of tapping onto the screen, it's just like, you know, I, hey, I don't feel like getting up, going upstairs, getting on my laptop or, you know, doing it from here. I mean, I can do it from my tablet and just, um, yeah. Um, the only thing I need to figure out is if, um, well, the next step would be obviously to try to edit videos on this, but uh, maybe I'll just stick to using my laptop. So yeah, I got this. So that way, you know, when I'm going places, I don't have to drag the laptop if I'm using it only to watch YouTube or, you know, check email, you know, use Messenger and stuff. So it comes in handy with the case. The case is really thick and soft and um, yeah, it's pretty durable, you know, so like I said, I just keep this in the case. And then I was hoping that this would fit in there, but it is too, um, it's too long. So it's not gonna fit in the case. So yeah, um, this actually costs more than the keyboard that I'm using uh, now for my laptop. But uh, you know, whenever that keyboard goes out, I mean, I can always use this with it too. So it works with the tablet, with the laptop and with your phone. I mean, I could technically connect it to this and still also, you know, type, but I'm not gonna do that. And I did forget one item for this Amazon haul. It's so small, it was sitting right next to me and I overlooked it. So I went ahead and bought my first Lamy pen, okay? I just thought, might as well, I've heard so much about it. I think I got this for $16.99. I did pick the turquoise color because it's so pretty. What I didn't know was that the ink barrel that it came with was blue, which I'm not that big of a fan of. I wished it was in black, but I mean, overall, I can see why people like the Lamy pens. Um, it's inexpensive and I, it does write well. Now, the, the one that I got was the medium nub. I did not want to get the fine one because I was afraid it would be too scratchy, but this one actually um, flows pretty nice. Um, I was tempted to bring it to work and try it, but I didn't want to have to worry about smudging. So I'm just going to stick with using this, you know, in my journal and or maybe Traveler's Notebook because the paper is a bit um, thicker because there is, you know, you have to worry about ghosting also. But um, I'm going to see how that goes and maybe I will show a process video with me using this and using some of the Art Atelier stuff that I've been getting. Um, every month. So yeah, this is now <laughs> the last item for that Amazon haul. And um, that's, that's it. I hope you guys are having a great week. Okay. Bye.